Thanks, Lord. So much going on today. So much on my mind. There's so much drama in the world today. And they make it hard to have a good vibe. There's so much wrong going on in the world. But somehow we keep it all smiling. So many people in the world today didn't make it. But we made it all right. That's why we say all praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. All praise. Tell me if you feel me, clap your hands up. Tell me if you feel me, put your hands up. And have you said, all praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. Seven it that we had it once again. Everybody around me feeling all right. We already been here all day. And we probably gonna be here all night. Clapping our hands as we dance and we sing. Everybody in here got a good vibe. Good people, good food, good drink. Came together just to have a good that's why we say all praises to the most high all praises to the most high all praises to the most high all praise tell me if you feel me clap your hands up tell me if you feel me put your hands up and have you said all praises to the most high all praises to the most high children of love when we love each other there's nothing more better when we come together we're children of love when we love all each other to most high. all praises to the most high all praises to the most high Shalom, Most High Christ. Bless Israel. Let's face Jerusalem. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 36 and verse 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God of all. And behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations, and let them see thy power. As thou wast sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, O God. Show new signs, and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation, and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. In the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All praise to the most high. All praises, all praises. Shalom, shalom, most high in Christ. Bless Israel. All right, I'm Officer Israel to my right. Officer Absalom. All right, so we, we taking the spot for the mighty Deacon Lava Hammer Time, IUIC, Louisville, Kentucky. All right, so we're going to, so y'all see the topic, it says, Why are you here, right? Because you seeing a lot of, a lot of brothers and sisters that's bugging out in this truth, a lot of brothers and sisters coming in, playing games. Uh, taking the time for granted that the Most High, the Most High woke, woke us up to this great knowledge so we can learn it, go out and teach it and spread it. But our people playing with the truth. So, you know, it's just something that I want to touch 
You know, the most I put it on my spirit to do so. All right. Let me let me roam it up, open up with Romans 15, 4. Hey, y'all can see the comments and everything. Can y'all hear me fine, Israel? Because it's a little echo on my end. Okay. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. It said, for whatsoever things that was written aforetime, right? The things that, that Paul was talking about, the things that was written aforetime was the things in the Old Testament where he extracted from. Go ahead. Were written for our learning. It says for our learning. But you have the Christian pastor that say the Old Testament is concealed and the new is revealed. So he said, look, you ain't he basically telling you you ain't supposed to be learning. But read it again. It says it was written a four time for our what? Were written a four time for our learning. For our learning. The things that we read in the scriptures, it teaches us how to conduct ourselves in this walk. Read on. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures. It says through patience. We get patience in the scriptures. It says, and our comfort come from the scriptures. Go ahead. Might have hope. That we might have hope. All right. Now, give me Sirach chapter 10. Sirach chapter 10 in the Apocrypha. Verse 1. Yes, sir. This is the book of Sirach chapter 10 and verse 1. Hold on, let me get it. Go ahead. A wise judge will instruct his people. So look, a wise judge will instruct his people. Look, look up the instruct. We're going to pull definitions today. I'm not, not playing on people's ignorance. A wise judge will instruct his people. Uh oh, we got Judah on the one. That's instructed. There you go. What it say? This is instruct. Direct or command someone to do something, especially as an official order. So the, the wise judge is going to give out orders, but I like two. Go ahead. Teach what? someone. Teach. It says to teach. Go ahead. Someone a subject or skill. So it says a wise judge, right? Our bishops, deacons, and captains, they instructing us. They giving us orders. They teaching us on how to conduct ourselves in the, in the spirit. Read on. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. The government of a wise man is well ordered. That comes from the instruction of a wise judge. Come on. As the judge of the people is himself. So it says, as the judge of the people is, is himself. Read on. So are his officers. So, so are the people that he hang around with, or so are the people that's under his authority or under his rule. Right? Give me an example. Get 2 Samuel 15, 11. Just, I'm building up to something. This is the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 11. And with Absalom went 200 men out of Jerusalem that were called, and they went in so their... So yeah, 200 men that followed Absalom that were called out of Jerusalem. Go ahead. And they went in their simplicity. They went in their simplicity. They were simple as hell. As the, as the judge is, so is his officers. Go ahead. And they knew not anything. It said they knew not anything. They was dumb as hell. It said it on that. Yes, sir. Go back. Go back. No matter. Yeah, go back. Go back. Read verse 2 again. The book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 2. Because look, because that's how you look. When, when brothers and sisters come into the truth, right, and they're not applying the wisdom that our bishops, our deacons, our captains is, is putting out for us to apply, you know, study, pray, apply, read the four chapters a day. They going over the marriage classes and stuff, how to deal with your brother, how to deal with your spouse. They not applying that stuff. It's like, who are you following? That's what it is. Who are you following? Because it's like, hey, no, I teach this. Why are you not? Christ is teaching this. You know, and I'm teaching what Christ say. Why are you not, why are you not applying that? Are you the son of Satan? Come on. Verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. Read. And what manner of the of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Give me Acts 4.13. Another example. This, this is an example of Christ, how you know who, who walk with Christ. Acts 4.13. Because, man, there's so many classes that's coming out. It's like you can't keep up. Man. You know, you got to try your best, but it's, it's all praises for that thing because 
like the scripture says, says um, what it says in, uh, in idleness, idleness teaches much evil. So you got so much content, so much knowledge coming out where you can't even be, you shouldn't be occupied in evil. This is the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. When they saw the boldness, right? Like we out there teaching, like, uh, like Cap be bringing out. Like you shouldn't, the leaders shouldn't be milly mouth. Right. You know, teaching all soft out there, out there at camp. Hey, do you know your nationality? Do you want to please repent? Yeah, you, you please repent. Come on. And perceive that they were unlearned and ignorant men. So he said, look, by the way that they was teaching, people perceived that they was unlearned men. Go ahead. They marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. See, they took knowledge of them that they what? That they had been with Jesus. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his, so are his officers. People seen the way that they was teaching and the way they was conducting themselves. They said, look, man, they must have been with Jesus. They're the same way when the, when the scriptures coming out, when, when you're seeing our leadership, bring out the scriptures, bring out the knowledge. So when the people see the way that you conduct yourself, the way that you teaching, the way that you applying the things that's being written, they go like, dang, they must, he must be around the leadership a lot. Right. All right. Uh, give me... Is it on that? Uh, give me Sirach 8 and 8. Sirach chapter 8, verse 8. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 8 and verse 8. Despise not the discourse of the wise. He said, look, don't hate the discourse of the wise, of your leadership. But you got people that come in the body and start, they despise it out the gate. Why are you here? <laughs> Jesus Christ ain't black. He tanned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, small stuff like that that can grow into something so, so big. Go ahead. Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with, our, with their proverbs. It says acquaint thyself with their proverbs. When you're hearing the wisdom coming out or the counsel or how they maneuver, you remember a bishop was saying, hey, I kept wondering why I keep getting fired from my job. The spirit is like, you know, he's passing out flowers at the job. The spirit was like, you dummy. <laughs> Stop passing out flowers at the right, job. Right. So guess what? You come in, you hear that, you can apply that like, damn, okay, let me apply that, that wisdom that he just brought out so I know not to be passing out flowers on the job. You know how when you come into the truth, your zeal be on a thousand. You rebuking everybody, the superintendents, the family, all that stuff. And you're like, damn. But now, <laughs> now our leadership is giving you that wisdom early on so you don't have to follow in them, uh, make the same mistakes that they made. Come on. For of them thou shalt learn instruction. Hold on, a wise judge will instruct his people. It says, for of them thou shalt learn instruction. Go ahead. And how to serve great men with ease. Read. Miss not the discourse of the elders. Miss not the discourse of the elders. For they also learn of their fathers. They learn from their elders before them. It's wisdom being passed down. Go ahead. And of them thou shalt learn understanding. Of who? And of them thou shalt learn understanding. They saying, damn, man can't teach me. I learned straight for Christ. He said, of them thou shalt what? Learn understanding. You shall learn understanding from them. Go ahead. And to give answer as need requires. Now, give me Malachi 3.16. This is one way you can, you, dis, you can despise the discourse of the leadership or of the learned man. You know, the leadership, you might have an officer of 10 or also 20 over a camp in your respective cities. You know, it says, this, it says, despise not the discourse of that brother. Go ahead. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. Yeah, you fear God, you're going to be calling because guess what? You cut everything off once you come into this walk. But you know what? People still deal with their they wicked family members, their wicked friends because they're trying to leave a door open. Right. That's what they try. They're trying to leave you setting, they're trying to set up an escape route where as soon as they get offended or they don't like the, they don't like what's going on, boom, they bounce out. They call him mama, they call him Amy. Like, yup, I ain't like them anyway. Yeah, you're right. I was in a cult. Boom, they gone. But once you once you cut off, once you cut off everybody and you come into this walk, you like, man, I need to be calling people. You, you know, you're trying to be, create that bond. You're trying to become tighter. But guess what? You got them brothers and sisters that come in here, and they sit to the side. Oh, I ain't, in the world, I ain't deal with sisters. In the world, I ain't do this. In the world, why you talking like that? 
This is a place of learning, a place of repentance. This is a hospital. A place of change. Yeah, there you go. A place of change. So it's like, if you if you still want to think like that, why are you here? Come on. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. They spake often one to another. You know, they call, check it up, chopping up, chopping it up. You know, hey, what's going on with you? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm just calling, check up on you. It's good, man. Everything straight with you. How the job, how the wife, how the kids. You know, what's a, what's a three minute, four minute phone call? That stuff can, can make somebody's day. Right. That stuff can change something. Somebody probably was about to do something wicked and you call. You call, you call to check up on a brother and the lotion was in his hand. Man. He had to put the lotion down to get the phone. Then you talk to him. Now you in on the phone two hours. You just stopped him from doing some wickedness. Oh, snap. Oh, officer, <laughs> officer. How you doing, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you never know, <laughs> man. <laughs> Come on. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And, and a, the Lord hearkened and heard that conversation. Go ahead. And a book of remembrance was written before him. For them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. All right, give me uh, Proverbs 14, 21. Remember, man, despise not the discourse of the wise. D despise not the discourse of, of the elders that's in your city or the, the senior men. I wouldn't say elders, the senior men that's in your respective con uh, congregations. Come on. You said 24, 14, 24? Uh, no, 14, 21. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 21. He that despises his neighbor. He sin. that despises his neighbor. The scriptures say, it said the second greatest commandment is what? Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Because even though the brother is over you, uh, and over you in the truth, that's still your brother. Right. That's still your sister. Whether you've been in the truth three years, he's been in the truth eight years, that's still your brother. That's still your neighbor. Despise not thy neighbor. Go ahead. But he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. Now, give me wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Because there'd be a lot of people despising, despising of thy neighbor, despising the wisdom. That's why we have backdoor marriages all the time. They don't know what they're talking about. This going to work. Joseph and uh, Mary had a backdoor. Man, Christ, the, the Lord brought that together. Satan brought your marriage together. You know, you got you to gotta look at those things. Come on. Well, wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, I want Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. Yeah, uh, verses 10. I want verses 10 to 13. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 10. You see all the all the information that's coming out about the simpness. Mm -hmm. Talking about, yeah, y'all not to be a simp. Right. Stand up and <laughs> stand up and take your rightful place in the household as the man, as the leader. Guess what? You got brothers, you got simp brothers despising that wisdom. Man, no, oh, bro, I want peace in the house, bro. I'm good. I ain't trying to war. You know, I got a good thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Like. Man, I don't know how to cook. I got a home-cooked meal every day. I, I can deal with the disrespect. Wow. Like, what? Teach an evil lesson to the wife when you do that. Yeah. You know? She treats hell? you like that. What you think she's going to do when she comes to the congregation? You got to understand. If, exactly. If, 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 <laughs> if the wife is disrespecting if the wife is disrespecting you, right, and you ain't doing nothing about it, it's like, why would you eat the food? I wouldn't trust that. Right. I wouldn't trust that at all. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Got some slow killing stuff in there. Yeah, hell the yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. Read. So the ungodly shall be punished according to their own thoughts, their own wickedness. Go ahead. Which have neglected the righteous Read. and forsaken the Lord. For right, because look, you neglecting the righteous that's teaching and giving the instruction of wisdom and have forsaken the Lord. These is God's words. You're forsaking the Lord. Whether you like it or not, the most I put the spirit on the leadership to come out with this wisdom and this instruction, and it says, look, you forsaken the Lord. Come on. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoso what? For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture. It said despises wisdom and nurture. Look at the word nurture. All the sisters know that. Look at look up the word nurture. Whoso despises wisdom and nurture. Look up Merriam Webster. You forgot the R in the, next to the U. There's yeah. a R. He put Nutri. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, brother. All praise to spell check. Go ahead. 
Care for and encourage. Care for, that's compassion, consideration. It says care for and encourage. What? The growth or development of. All right, read. Help or encourage the development of. Read. Cherish, so says, hope, belief, or ambition. All right, so it says help or encourage the de development of, right? So it says you despising your development in this walk. You wonder, like brothers be wondering why they, brothers be wondering why you've been in the truth 10 years or seven years, you still a MO, uh, black shirt. Right. Or you a soldier and stuff like that because you despising the wisdom and the discourse of the uh, elders, of the leadership. You got to plug up to whoever's in your congregation. You got to plug up to those leaders because those leaders are plugged up to the leaders that set them up. When you continue to be like that, that's where you get the growth. Otherwise, that's, you, there's a break in the understanding. You won't have, you, you won't get, go above the uh, ceiling that you place to yourself because you despise to come to your leadership and get that wisdom. That exactly. So everybody in, in, in congregation, you have officer that's, uh, officers that's over people, you know, over a um, certain group of men. You know, you have senior, senior sisters that's um, instructing the younger women that come in the body and stuff like that. So, and they helping, they helping and encouraging the development of your growth. If you don't reach out, you ain't applying Malachi 3.16. You're not trying to come around. You're trying to stay to yourself. The scriptures say, show yourself to be friendly. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You despising the wisdom. You hate wisdom. It's like, why are you here? If you don't want to grow and get nurtured, why are you here? You could have just stayed in the Christian church. With Pastor Betty, where nobody put pressure. That's why I like, here they put pressure on you to do the work, to get right. the kingdom. In a Christian church, they're not doing that. You got the select people that's doing it, and then hey, as long as you give your arms, your tithes, come to the picnic, mm -hmm. you know, come to the bake sales, and you straight. Just be around talking to people. Right. Read them. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture. You despising the wisdom and the nurture. He is miserable. He, you miss, that's why you miserable. You miserable. You got that woe is me spirit. You feel entitled. You feel, why they ain't trying to come talk to me? What? You need to be coming talking to them. Why ain't you raised up? What? <laughs> why ain't you raised up? Sisters, why I can't go on patient saints? Why I can't travel with the leadership? Hell no. You despising wisdom and nurture. That's why your spirit is miserable. You ain't smiling. You always by yourself. Or you got the one sister that's just always with a kid. Right. It's just me and mine against the world. In the corner. Yeah, in the corner. Why, why are you here? Come on. And their hope is vain. Th their hope. Ain't our hope in the scriptures? Yes. But it said your hope is vain. Because why? You don't have no knowledge. You don't have no wisdom because you're despising the nurture. You're sitting in the congregation with everybody else that's going to get lifted up and saved by the Most High God, but you ain't. That's why your hope is vain. You're going to die. You're suffering here for no reason, and you're going to die. you sitting in, <laughs> you taking up the chair. <laughs> you taking up the chair, man. Thank that's you. what you're doing, man. Man, let it get up. Look, get up and leave and let a righteous uh, spirit that's coming in with a willing mind come sit in that chair. That's right. Stop taking up these people's seats. <laughs> you most high going to expose your behind. Go ahead. And their hope is vain. And your hope is vain. Their labors unfruitful. Their labors what? Unfruitful. Your labors are unfruitful. And their works unprofitable. But it said, yo, your works are unprofitable. If everything that you're doing, there's no fruit coming, uh, it's coming not, from it. It's not, it's not progressing. Blessed. It's not being blessed. Like you say, it's not being blessed. Your works because you despise in wisdom. Why are you not, like the scripture saying, uh, Joshua 1 and 8, it says, meditate on the law day and night, and thou, and the, I'm butchering it, you shall have prosper and great success, right? So you got to make sure that you're seeking the most high first when every time you put your hand to something. But if you despise in that wisdom and that nurture, guess what? You're not going to prosper. You're going to sit here and just die and window. And, and, and window. That's it. Yeah, sit on that. That was verse 12. You said 13? Yeah, go ahead. Verse 12. Their wives are foolish and their children. Don't say what? Their wives they, are. The man, the man that have a, a, a leader over him or they got access to leadership, but he don't want to take full advantage of it. Their wives are miserable because their wives ain't learning. Their wives ain't traveling. Their wives ain't being around other sisters. Mm. 
seeing this truth. You know, when you travel and stuff, you start to see your faith increase. You start to see all the different brothers and sisters and what they doing. You get to branching out, networking, getting different phone numbers, talking to different people in the walk. But it says they wives are miserable. Because guess what? They just come to the Sabbath and leave. Come to the new moon. Never dance. Leave early. Leave early. Get their food. Yeah, I want it to go play. Bounce out. Come on. Their wives are foolish. Their wives are foolish. And their children wicked. The ch <laughs> children have no, no discipline. They don't even have, they need to put a bridle over their mouths. Mm -hmm. Their offspring. They look, though, you, got, you got children that are being in the congregation run around. Don't say excuse me. Don't say yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. No shaloms. Thank, yeah, no shaloms. No, no, thank you. You're welcome. Like the 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 piety, like the scriptures say, it says uh the kids are supposed to learn piety at home. Taught me to talk about manners. Mm. At home, all that stuff start at home. But guess what? You would know that if you wasn't despising the wisdom and the nurture that was given to you from the leadership. On YouTube, we got an app now, IUIC TV. What? I want some nurturing. Let me cut the app on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to get built up. Yeah, come on. Their offspring is cursed. Oh, that's it. That's all I want on that. All right. Give me Proverbs 24 and 9. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 9. These some scriptures for our spirit, man. You always had to, I had to get reminded. Like, bro, you need to be traveling. You need to be traveling, you know? you Because you can get so occupied where you, you you know, you at work, you dealing with your family, you helping the brothers and sisters that's in your, your respective city, you know? And then you look, you be like, dang, two years then went past. A year then went past, six months then went past, damn. You know? So you really got to make sure that you're being vigilant and aware of that thing. All right. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 9. The thought of foolishness is sin. The thought of foolishness is sin. And the scorner is an abomination to men. So it says the thought, I want to harp on that. The thought of foolishness is sin. So you got to help. You get Colossians 3 and 5. You got to look. You got to be watching these classes. You know you deal with lust. You need to be getting scriptures on that. Go to your counselor. The person that's set up over you. You know, you're supposed to have a counselor of a thousand. Who you talking to? Come on. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 5. Mortify, therefore, your members. He said kill. Mortify means to kill or deaden. Go ahead. Which are upon the earth. Read. Fornication. He said mortify that thought of fornication, those sexual lusts that you have in your mind. Go ahead. Uncleanness, Read. inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. All that we just read says, which is idolatry. Those things that you put in, in front of the most high God. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us do that. You know, like we know we can get off on the Sabbath days, but brothers like, dang, that's triple time, so I'm working on the Sabbath. I'm just going to give some alms mm. and think it's going to escape from, from the, uh, saying, oh, that's going to soften the, the blow. Right. Brothers talking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to just give the most high, like $200 here, it's going to soften the blow. Right. Like, nah, bro, you voluntarily, you willfully sinning. That was a voluntarily, that was a voluntarily day for you. You know, you ain't have to work, but you chose to work. Oh, man. Because you was covetous. You wanted that money. But guess what? You despise it. You missed the Sabbath where you sitting here where you went, resting, where class three times, coming out morning class, afternoon class, two, it's like four classes on the Sabbath. Then after that, you got a circle going on with the brother stuff, getting built up. You can ask questions. You despising that because you sitting here saying, look, I want some triple time on the Sabbath. Right. You got you to gotta kill, kill that thought process. How you do that? By talking to somebody, talking to a, a senior person that's more learned, that have the wisdom and have the ability to give you that nurture. They don't? Yes, sir. Yeah, y'all give me Proverbs 15 on verse 2. You gotta call, like a lot, a lot of brothers are calling ads for precepts and stuff like that. Like me, I be calling ads like, hey, how my, my daughter doing this? How, how do I, uh, hey, what's some instruction on how to deal with that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, she acting up in school. Hey, boom, hey, ain't this my first time being a, you know, being a father in the truth? There's a lot of us, Damn. Right. 
You know, I'm raising kids. I'm not, I ain't raised no child where they grown now and they keeping the commandments now. I'm raising children. So I, you should have a lot of questions on that, how to be a father in this walk. Them, them, the questions that you ask it should be for longevity in this walk. It shouldn't be every time you got the leadership attention, precept, 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 precept. No, man, make sure you ask the questions on how to, how to conduct your house. For the long run, man. Remember, we examples to the people. Come on. The book it, ain't of a, it ain't a race. It's not a race, man. Everybody have their different calling. It's not a race. Come on. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright. It said the tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright. A brother that's getting that wisdom, that's applying what the leadership is bringing out, applying the scriptures, applying what Christ was saying, he going to use that knowledge right. He going to make sure that he teaching. He's building up everybody else around him. Go ahead. But the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. The mouth of fools pours out foolishness. Go ahead. Verse 7. Verse 7. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge. Hold on. The lips of the wise going to disperse knowledge. He going to disperse. He get the wisdom and stuff. He going to disperse it. He not going to keep it to itself. As soon as he get it, he's like, dang, he going to, his, like the scripture say, the heart was burned with, with fire. Uh, with, I mean, their heart was burned within, within them when they heard the scriptures. Right. So they're going to be like, you going to hear, you going to like, damn, let me go hurry up and share it with my brothers or share it with my sisters. But you got some people that's going to sit back, yeah, that's deep, I'm keeping that. Right. I'm the only one that knows that. I'm the only one that know that. Yep. Yep. I'm a soldier. He also at 20, he don't know it. I'm keeping it. Right. Yep. I'm, I'm, digging, I'm digging a coin, putting it in the dirt. Yeah, digging a coin and putting it in the dirt. Let me hide this wisdom. Right. So as soon as he don't know, the question, he, he, he don't know it, you go dig the coin up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brothers like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on. But the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The, the heart of the foolish don't disperse wisdom. They talking about worldly things. They talk is with uh, like Ciroc 38. They maintaining the state of the world. They talk is with the bullocks, with merchandise, right. stocks, Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bitcoin. <laughs> All that. Not saying it's a sin to talk about this stuff, but first and foremost, your priority is supposed to be the commandments of the Most High, the knowledge, the testimonies of Christ. All right. Give me um, Titus 3. Titus 3.10. Look up the word heretic for me. I want some syn synonyms. You got me? Go ahead, read. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 10. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition rejects. So he, the most I said reject is heretic after the first and second ammunition. I said ammunition, admonition. <laughs> I did the first and second <laughs> clip. Oh man. Oh man. All right, come um read it. A person believing in our are practicing religious heresies. Read the synonyms. Synonyms. Decident, dissenter, nonconformist. Read. A apostate. Free thinker. He said free thinker. Somebody is like, yeah, hold it. Get Philippians 2 5. Philippians 2 5. It says a free thinker. <laughs> Our mind's supposed to be on Christ. The book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you. He said, let this mind be in you. Go ahead. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Which is also in Christ Jesus. We both have the same, same mind that Christ had. All of one, one accord, and one mind, one spirit, same judgment. Speaking the same thing. All right. Uh, go ahead, some more of that. No, not that. Uh, the heretic definition. Go back go to back. it. You was at, uh, it said disruptor, skeptic, ag agnostic, atheist. Renegade. Yeah. Uh, it said, he said renegade. <laughs> Look, non believer. Unbeliever. Well, unbeliever. Yeah, non believer, unbeliever, idolater, idolater pagan, right. heathen, separatist. Mm. You got that separate talk. The separatists talk. Somebody, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be skillful to sit here when somebody having a conversation. You know if the if the um if the speech is about separation, it can be cunning with it. Secretariat uh, says 
Come on, bro. Go back. What y'all doing, IT? Uh, revisionist. I don't know. That's a, it says, uh, re, I don't know. Recreant? Yeah, so look, the second, the second definition says, a person holding an opinion. Bro, go down, IT. What are you doing? Right there. A person holding an opinion at odds with what is generally accepted. What's accepted in this truth is that what? You get your mind right and follow the commandments. That's what's accepted in this walk. You repent. You fall down. You get back up. Right? You build yourself back up. You keep you keeping the commandments. You're not dis, you're not despising the discourse of the wise. You got that uh, Philippians 2 and 2? Get it. Bring it out. A, it says a person holding an opinion. Man, our opinion don't matter. It's about what the opinion of God is saying. This is oh, the yeah. book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 2. It says, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. So right there is letting you know that it's not supposed to be no separatist. You're not supposed to be having your own opinion. You're not supposed to be uh, being a renegade or a free thinker. Your thoughts are supposed to be in alignment with the thoughts that come down from your leadership. That's what our thoughts are supposed to, supposed to be. Yeah. Like what you see with the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, where they got their thoughts from, Moses. Yeah. For the first five books. And then when you get to the New Testament, Peter, uh, Peter, John, and them, where was they, where was they getting their ideologies from? The prophets and Moses. And then when Christ came on the scene, they, they understood that all that knowledge that they was getting from from the very beginning was from Christ himself. Yeah, all praise. That was a good point. Yep, it's all trickling down. Because the most high have the order. He dealing with, you know, it's God, Christ, he dealing with the leadership, and it's trickling all the way down. The spirit is passing on. But we like to despise it, though. Israel, stiff-necked, rebellious. Yeah, all right, uh, where you was at? Oh, I was at uh, Titus uh, 3 and 10. Now you can drop that. Get uh, 1 Timothy 3. 1 Timothy 3. I'm going to jump through it. What up my time looking like? All right. Go ahead. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man des desire the office of a bishop. So you, de you desire, you a leader. All the men are leaders. You a leader in your household. You a leader over the planet. You right. know? Exactly. We got. Go ahead. He desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. Vigilant. Sober. Of good behavior. Given to hospitality, apt to teach. So these is, this is right here. This is giving us some nurture, some wisdom on how to conduct ourselves, right? Right here. How can you despise this? But you got people that's despising this. This Right here, uh, Timothy is giving you the attributes of what a leader should be doing. What an Israelite man should be doing. Go ahead. Not given to wine. No striker. Not greedy or filthy lucre. But patient, not but a what? brawler. But patient. But patient, go ahead. Not a brawler, not covetous. One that ruleth well his that's own the point. house. That's the point I want. Read. One that ruleth well his own house. It says, one that ruleth well his own house. Go ahead. Having his children in subjection with all gravity. Remember, Israel says, rule it well his own house. But go ahead. For if a man know not how to rule his own house... How shall he take care of the church of God? A lot of people don't look at that. They say, okay, they think they can try to cover up certain things. Remember, this is spiritual. Right. You, can't rule your, you can't rule your house. Guess what? You sitting right here. This is how you know some stuff be going on at home with a brother. Right? We all in the circle and stuff. Why he keep looking at his wife? When she, as soon as she opened her mouth, he, he, like, he like, damn, what is she going to say? Like, he's uneasy. When a, when a leadership asks uh, the brothers if they can ask their wives a question, he's no. Yeah, he's no, 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 <laughs> no. Oh, he's not giving you no answer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because there's something going on in the household. It's going to spill into the congregation. You can't hide it. It's a spiritual thing. That's why I said, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Because you, you, at home, that's where you're getting your practice at. That's a form of pride, too. 
You got leadership here that can go up leadership and get the wisdom that you need in order to learn how to uh, take care of your wife or how to guide your wife correctly. And you not reaching out. You don't want nobody to see nothing. You're going to stay where you at. That's it. That's it. Because you're trying to hide the wind. Because you're proud. you like, man, I don't want the leadership looking at me in a certain way. Like, what? No. we. I'm, I'm, me, I'm going to ask questions. Straight up. None of us come in here knowing how to do that. Man, stuff hell like no, nah, bro. I'm a novice in this truth, bro. I'm still learning. Still learning. You know, with the marriage and stuff like that, it's things, you know, you got to learn with finances. Like, man, I was, when I, when I got, bought me a house, bro, I was seeking counsel. Like, I didn't know, like, they was like, avoid HOA fees. I'm like, what is that? You know, they're like, hey, you can get charged if your grass is over a certain length. I never knew that. Right. So I would have jumped the tag. Man, HOA fees can sometimes add four or $500 on your mortgage. Mm. But brothers don't be, you know, you looking at certain things, you got to be seeking counsel when you're doing certain things. But we be like, I got it. Like, hell no, man. I'm seeking counsel on buying a car, right. buying a truck. I'm like, hey, man, hey, I think you should look here. They truck's cheaper. You know, hey, try these person. Hey, these, they giving discounts around this time. You know, a brother told me, he said the best time to buy certain cars and stuff like that is like during the summertime or um, at the end of the year because they trying to get rid of the old stuff to get the new stuff. Like, you, I'm, bro, you got to seek counsel on things, man. Yeah, you got to talk to people. That's what you got to do. Go ahead. Verse 6. Not a novice. Not a novice. He about to tell you what, uh, what a novice do, though. Let's being lifted up with pride. A novice walk around with pride. He fall into the condemnation of the devil. Read. Moreover. Because why? He fall into the condemnation of a devil because in Sirach chapter 10, it says, um, read, get it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. Sirach 10, I think it's verse 12. The book of Sirach chapter 10, verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God. And his heart is turned away from his maker. You see that? That's when that man start to depart from God. Nobody can correct him. Nobody can come with the scriptures and show him, nah, bro, I'm in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some, that's some novice stuff. Scripture's bouncing off of you. Yeah, yeah. Scripture's bouncing off of you. Got a, uh, uh, you got, <laughs> you got a, uh, a breastplate of uh, <laughs> wickedness. wickedness. Yeah. <laughs> Brother's talking about holding the line. Brother, that brother holding the line of wickedness. Yeah. Come on. Verse 7, moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. You got to have a good report, right? So in order for you to have that good report, you got to be talking to people where they be like, look, you know what? No, he wouldn't do nothing like that. Right, right. That good report. No, I know the way his mind thinking because he be seeking counsel all the time. I'm always you, with this brother. Yeah, I'm always with this brother. Yeah, like this brother got a good report. Not you just being to yourself, not talking to nobody. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what he do. I mean, he heard. Damn. You know, I, I pray he moving in the spirit. Go ahead. Lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Right. Uh, uh, give me, go, me, go back to Wisdom of Solomon 8. No, we was never there. Give me Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 10. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. If you're going to despise nurture and wisdom and you're going to despise what the leadership bringing out. You know, like sisters with the class class that Bishop Kanai did. Sisters didn't like that class. Right. That was a banging class. Yeah, man. The, the sisters needed that. But, but, but guess what? They, they heads all down. They mad. Why I got to watch that? The countenance darkened. Yeah. What would you say? The countenance darkened. <laughs> Why I got to watch that? Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Need to have that class on repeat. Need to, that, that class need to be a ringtone. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah. Yo, mom supposed to be my mom. Hell yeah, make that a doorbell. Like, you ring the doorbell, that, the, the Bishop Kanai's class the last week should just be playing. You know? That's how it should be. You know how you walk in the stores and stuff? They're like, they're, they're pagan holidays, they playing that music. That's how I got to be in some of the brothers' houses. Got to be playing those sip classes and stuff like that. Getting on the sisters. Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 10. For her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude. It's, saying, it's talking about her. It's talking about wisdom. Estimation. Hey, look up the word estimation. Uh, it says, for her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude.
estimation, a rough calculation of the value, number, quality, or extent of something. It says, it says a rough calculation of the value. Read the second one. A judgment of the worth or character of someone or something. Now read Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 10. You remember that? A, ju a judgment of the worth or character of someone or something. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 10. For her sake, I shall have... For estimation. wisdom's sake, I shall have what? Estimation. So I'm going to have value. Oh. I'm a, I'm a, my character is going to be worth something because what, I'm not despising the wisdom. I'm applying what the, uh, what the scriptures are saying. So that's going to bring value to me among my peers, among the brothers and the sisters. Mm. Go ahead. Among the multitude. Among the multitude. Go ahead. And honor with the elders. Honor with the elders. The elders going to be like, dang, this brother, man, he moving in the spirit. He got, he got wisdom. Wisdom working with him. Though I be young. Though I be what? Though I be young. Though I be young. You going to have honor. You going to have respect with the senior men. Because they going to be like, dang, this brother follow counsel. This brother's applying the class. Hey, bro, why you do that? Oh, because, you know, Bishop taught this class like two years ago, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all praises, brother. The brother's very mindful of what he's doing. He's, he's listening. He's very attentive to what's being brought out. And he's saying, okay, let me extract something. Let me extract, okay, maybe, okay, that don't apply to me now, so let me put it up and put it in the bank because I'm, I'm going to have to use it later. Right. Because if you're single, right, and look at all the marriage classes, are you sitting there saying that don't apply to me? Not all right. of it applies to you. You got to put that up. Because as soon as you get married, oh, let me go in the safe. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't let the sister raise her voice at me. All right. You know, all that. Don't allow being called a band. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. No band. You know, let me go to the, 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 the Atlanta class. Yep. No band. You can't call me. You know, that's what you got to do in all seriousness. We laugh and stuff like that. Right. But yeah, we can't be sitting here, you you as a novice, or being prideful like that stuff don't apply to me. Everything applies, man. You gotta know how you gotta know how to just put that stuff up and be like, okay, this is the time I gotta use it. Let me grab that. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 11. Then so you have to get that. Give me Psalms 111 10. We read this all the time. All the time. Some of us we just be sitting here. Sisters looking like divas, trying, you know. And then you ask them, what's their favorite scripture? Jesus wept. Why? You ask the brothers, what's his favorite scripture? Yeah, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Damn. 68. How? Why is that your favorite scripture? Because, you know, slave ships, man, they straight in the Bible. Wow. Like, what? How long you been in the truth? Three years. <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> All right, brother. All right. <laughs> yeah. Psalms chapter one. Deuteronomy 28, 68. That's my favorite scripture. What? <laughs> hey, more power to you, brother. Come on. The book of Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's why when you walk into these doors, you, you must, you must um, have that fear. Now, your fear is going to start to increase once you sit here and um, listen to what's being brought out. That's, that's what the leadership is doing. They're teaching the fear of God. So initially, when you walk in the door, you have some, some level of fear. It says what? The fear of what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because yeah, the scriptures say wisdom walk with you in your crooked ways. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's how you start to get wisdom, by fearing God. Go ahead. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. A good understanding. You want that good understanding, you're going to do the commandments, right? It says, get thee but times with the, with the leadership. It's Malachi 3.16. Those that fear the Lord spake often one to another. You're going to make sure that when you're reading something, you're going to apply it to the best of your ability. Right? Give me uh, Hebrews 13. Hebrews 13.17. Like, in order to obtain unity and being of one mind, you got to fear God. You got to fear God. You got to come in with that willing mind. You got to leave, like, like what did he tell Moses? Take, take them shoes off. Right. You got to come in here and empty your mind. Come on. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 17. Obey them that have the rule over you. Read. And submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls. They watching for your souls. They trying to build you up and give you that nurture. 
And but I don't want nobody to watch for my souls. I'm grown. Right. I'm 50 years old. I don't need nobody telling me who I need to marry. Why are you here? As they Cause that, soon as you come into the doors, you it, it's instruction time. Right. You know, like bitch say, it's nation time. Soon as you walk into the door, then the brothers that put on that, when you put on that purple shirt, yo, you you submitting to the leadership. It ain't no begging you to do this and do that. You got on a purple shirt that say Israel United on, and Christ on it. When a bishop deacon captain are building it, the um the bishops and the deacons built it up from the ground up. And you got a purple shirt on, they asking you, hey brother, we need you to pass out flyers three times a week. Well, um, man, I know um I, I get on fantasy football. I got a fantasy football league. <laughs> they built this thing from the ground up, and it should be an honor for you to, to wear this logo. It's an honor for me to wear the logo. Purple shirt. Bring pride. Do you, you, do you want pride wear, wear, wearing a McDonald's shirt? Mm. Damn. With the collar on it? Talking about good burger. Man, good I take burger. the order. <laughs> may I take the order? Yeah, may I take your order? What's the pride in that? It's pride in that you out here, Army Boots, purple shirt on, you out there passing out the flyer, telling, look, you the greatest people that ever walked the planet. Look at this information right here. Do you know, did you know slavery, your history is in the scriptures? The Bible made for you? But brothers want to despise that. Sisters want to despise that. But we in the greatest movement. Like I tell brothers, I be like, look, when you watch the Malcolm X movies, movies and stuff like that, um, you know, you see the movement that the um, the Muslims uh, was in with Islam and stuff like that, right? And now you see books with quotes and stuff like that on it. That same thing going to happen with us. You know? It's going to be quotes of our leadership. We seeing it now. With Bishop. Yeah, with the Bishop. We seeing it now. Famous quotes and stuff like that. Somebody could put it together in the books and stuff. I'm telling y'all, man. Sometimes, man, we sit, we sit here and we don't realize what we are part of. We take it for granted, you know? Come on. Obey them that have the rule over you. Verse, after that, verse 7. And Finish up 17, your, though. And submit yourselves. It says submit yourselves to the leadership. Lawfully, they got to make sure that they ru ruling in the, I mean, staying in the spirit. Come on. Hey. Hey, brother, go cut my lawn real quick. Yeah, go cut my lawn. That's, yeah, go cut my grass. Go change my oil. No, he ain't talking about that. Come on. <laughs> but, they would, but they watch for your souls as they that must give a. You want somebody to watch for your soul to make sure you ain't messing up. You want to get the kingdom of heaven. Because sometimes what? Sometimes we can't see the things. You know, it's, sometimes you got to have somebody on the outside looking in. They can, see, they can see your flaw better than you can see it. Right. Come on. As they that must give account. That they may do it with joy and not with grief. You don't want no leader to be doing it with grief. Where you feel like you're a burdensome. You, 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 um, you burdensome. Or you, you, you become a spiritual vampire. Or even worse, man. Every time somebody try to help you with something, you're trying to fight them. You're trying to fight them. All right. Yeah. I like that, too. You know, every time somebody trying to help you, you, you bucking back. You feel like somebody is, um, what, what they call, what, what, what brothers be saying that, um, you always pointing me out. Right. Why you picking on me? Right. It ain't like that, bro. I see potential in you. Exactly. That's what you know, I mean. that's it. We trying to help. We trying to build you up. That's why with brothers messing with me and stuff like that, I, you know, the captains and stuff, all praises. Like, it's all praise that these mighty men even talking to you. Right. They ain't even acknowledging you. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta look at that. I, I, I look at the positivity in everything. You know, you can't, you can't be negative, man. You know, you go through so much, you can't be negative. Come on. But that is unprofitable for you. It's unprofitable for your leader to be ruling over you with grief. I want to deal with you. Exactly. You Verse 7? Verse 7. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God. It said, who have spoken unto you the word of God. We got to remember, we woke up, we heard whoever we heard in this purple and gold saying we Israelites. Right. We got to remember them. That taught us the word of God. They didn't know it? That's more. Good. Whose faith follow. Whose faith follow. We got to follow their faith. They ain't, they ain't falling out over heresies, this new moon stuff, all this, uh, you can eat, uh, you, <laughs> what, chicken, what you, chicken yeah, for chicken Passover. for Passover. They not, they not, they not falling out over that stuff. We got to follow their faith. Their faith is, is uh, an example to us. 
considering the end of their conversation. All right, give me 1 Timothy chapter 6. The book uh, of 1 Timothy chapter 6. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start at verse... All right, three. The book of First Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. The doctrine is which is according to godliness. Go ahead. He is proud. He said he is proud. Go ahead. Knowing nothing. Saying you know nothing if you teach it otherwise or you're not consenting to wholesome words. Go ahead. But doting about questions. Now you got that brother always coming here asking questions on everything. Why I got to do this? Why I got to mop? Mm -hmm. Why I got to take out the trash? Hey, hey, help bring the waters in uh, on the school. I mean, in the school. Ain't this working on the Sabbath? I can't do drills. That's working on the Sabbath. Right. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know? Or marching. That's working on the Sabbath. I'm finna sit in here. Okay. Like, brother, what the hell's wrong with you? Come on. But doting about questions and strife of words. Where up? Do, do you remember the brother we was at teaching at camp, the stripes of words? You know, hey, um, it said he didn't get crucified on the cross. It was a tree, brother. It was a tree. Like what? Brother, or, or sometimes a stake. So ain't a cross, a stake, a tree? Ain't this all wood, brother? Right. Come on. Where up cometh envy? Envy? Strife. Railings. Evil surmises. You got to watch. You got brothers and sisters that come in the congregation and they own that. They own that, man. Evil surmiser always got their name in some stuff. It's like, man, what, what are you doing? You coming to destroy what the Most High is trying to build, but you can't do it, but you trying. You will be. You going to be found out. Come on. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. They say you destitute of the truth if you moving in that way. You moving in that spirit, you destitute of the truth. Why? Because the people that's moving like that, we're like, hey, do you got a counselor? No. You destitute of the truth. You just sitting here. Come on. Supposing that. Taking up the AC. Right. You know, you go to the schools and stuff, it'd be hot. You'd be like, man, some of these, bro. If you wasn't here, man, it'd be cooler. One less hot breath. <laughs> yeah. <in that> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. Supposing that gain is godliness. From such, from such, withdraw thyself. God said, withdraw yourself from them spirits. Remember, man, you, remember you want to you wanna plug yourself in with those that been in before you, that's rolling in the spirit. That's what you want to do. You always want to go up. You always want to go up. Every time you move up a level, you always want to keep going up and up and up. Obtain it to, you know, you progress. You want to you wanna, um, see progression in its truth. And sometimes you might have to change careers. You know, you might have to move or whatever the case may be. You might have to do those things in order for you to progress in the truth. In, in order for you to move up and understand it, uh, you know, and experience and, and, and rank, you know, things of that nature. All right. Uh, give me um, Titus 1. Titus 1 and 9. Titus the book 1 of and Titus, nine. chapter 1 and verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught. What? Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. But if you ain't being taught anything and you despise what, how can you hold fast the faithful words? You ain't hold nothing, you ain't hold nothing but, but some chicken. Your own word. Yeah, yeah, your, your own, you your own words. That's all you that's all you holding. Go ahead. That he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. To exhort, and you got to be taught that. How to go out there and maneuver to uh, win the crowd over. Right. Teach the people. Cause the people to repent. That stuff has to be taught. It has to be instructed from senior men. Read on. But there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. Uh-oh. There's many unruly and vain talkers. And deceivers. Especially they of the circumcision. Whoa. They of our own people. Mm. They ain't talking about the heathen. They of Israel. That's in your own congregation that be, might be sitting right next to you. Whose mouths must be stopped. Who mouths must be stopped. You sitting here trying to, you sitting here paying attention to class and stuff like that. But then you got the brother like this. Like, hey, bro, I got the precept. I got a precept. 
And you sitting here listening to what the, you know, the bitches and them saying. Right. You know? That's foolish, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to teach. It ain't nothing to sit here and say, look, bro, hey, it's another one right here. Hey, copy it down real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you edifying it, but you sitting right here, yeah, bro, look at this teacher. See, this, this is what the bishop going, blah, 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 blah. You teaching while he teaching. Right. Who subvert whole houses. Then you got, then you got two, you got, you got sisters, right? They'll be gossiping on the phone. They'll be gossiping on the phone to your wife. Mm. And then you come home from work, like, what the hell happened? The whole spirit, she got the devil on everything. What, hold on, what, what, what went on? How subverted. When I, yeah, when I left, everything was peachy. I came back, like, what, the, man, let me see your phone with the car log. What the hell? <laughs> and then, like, Satan did creep up in the damn house. Come on. Who subvert whole houses. Who subvert whole houses. Teaching things which they ought not. They teaching things that they ought not to be teaching. Why? Because they despising that nurture and that wisdom. They despising counsel. For 50 look If you're going to despise, you know, everybody say, they be like, I'm grown, right? You grown, you should already know before you walk through the door and get searched, like, if you're going to despise counsel or not. You know if you're going to come in here, you know it's going to be so-called blacks, Hispanic men teaching the scriptures. You know if you're going to despise it. So you might as well turn around. Do a 180 and turn around. And, right. <laughs> and bounce out. Never mind. But you know what they tell me? I'm going to come for friends. I'm going to move in that diatrophy spirit. Right. Let me move disciples to ourselves, man. I remember, man, I remember one of the officers was trying to give scriptures to this sister. She was older than him. She was like twice his age. She was saying, man, he had an old speaker, bro. He was, she was like, I heard what the scripture said. And then he was like, excuse me? He's like, no, sis, I'm done. No, I said, I don't want to hear the scriptures. I know what it say. I was like, wow. Damn. They despising that nurture with. They don't want to be, wow. people don't want to be told them, why are you here? <laughs> Come on. For filthy liqueur's sake, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, Said the, the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. Hey, they ain't, ain't want that. That's it on that. Give me, all right, give me, uh, give me first John basics. Give me first John 2. First John 2. On verses 3 to 4. Book of first John, chapter 2, and verse 3. Where's the Peter? Book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. We always, we bring this out on the street strong. We got to make sure we applying that here. Right. Bring it again. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. We know Christ, we know the black Messiah, if we keep in his commandments. Go ahead. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and don't apply what's being taught, don't apply what's being brought out in the scriptures, is a liar. I said, you're a liar. We don't want to hear that, though. We want to bring it out on the street all the time right. and cut somebody up. But when we don't apply the wisdom that's being brought out in the scriptures, we a liar. That's a, the, the, in Hebrews, it says it's a two-edged sword. Right. And it said, read on. And the truth is not in him. And the truth ain't in you. If you ain't applying what's being written, the truth ain't in you. You a liar. This is out of God's words. Give me, uh, give me Sirach 3.24. We always want to bring that out on the street, man. You look at that thing, you're like, damn, bro. Like, that, apply, that, that applies to me. If I'm not applying what these scriptures talking about, I'm a liar and the truth ain't in me, bro. I don't know Christ. The book of Sirach, chapter 3 and verse 24. But many are deceived by their own vain opinion. A lot of us are deceived. That's why we got to have these counselors, man. That's why, we, that, that's why it has to be uh, leadership set in place to give you that instruction, to tell you, like, bro, no, that's off. You don't move like that. Because it says many are deceived by their own vain opinion, the free thinkers. Mm. Come on. And an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Look up. Hey, look up opinion. Look at the word opinion. It says that evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. That's a person that have no charity, man. The scriptures say charity thinking no evil. That's the people that's always coming in, already thinking evil of people, man. We had a sister come in and was like, hey, 
Matthew 18 leadership. You, hey, don't talk to the leadership wives because, hey, they don't fool with nobody and stuff like that. You got you to gotta watch those spirits, man. That is the devil right there. Yeah, yeah, you got to watch those spirits because that's an evil suspicion. They have maybe have one bad experience or one, one misunderstanding, and they hold that and use that so that now they don't grow, and anybody that walks in here new, they can't grow either. Exactly. That makes no sense. You're yeah. working against the truth. Exa the exactly. Good point. You're working against the truth. Because you're saying don't deal with the leadership, that's where the, that's where the wisdom and the nurture coming from. That's where the unity so, coming from. That's where the unity coming from. So somebody telling you not to grow, they telling you, hey, don't learn the spirit. <laughs> Read. They attack the young ones, man. That's why it always, they always attack the young ones that come in. Opinion. They don't know nothing. Go ahead. A view or judgment formed about something, not necessarily based on fact Ooh. or knowledge. Telling you, man, that thing heavy. Read it again. <laughs> A view or judgment formed about something. It's formed about something or some or someone. Go ahead. Not necessarily based on fact. It ain't necessarily based on fact. Somebody told you, hey, Officer Absalom, man, hey, y'all don't deal with him, bro. He be lying. So now they they now they formed a perception mm -hmm. about you. It's not based on fact. You don't know the person. You yeah, just you just came you just in. Heard. Yeah, you going off what you heard. Google scholars. Yup. Not necessarily based on fact or what. Not necessarily based on fact or knowledge. Right. We know what the knowledge is, Malachi 2 and 7, the laws of God. It's not based on that. So it says, go back to Sirach 3. The book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 24. And get the word suspicion. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. It said you deceived by your own vain opinion of something that's not, is not, um, is not uh, viewed by fact or uh, what's that? It's by not. fact or knowledge, not based on fact or knowledge, uh, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. An evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Read that. I just had it. I see. Suspicion. You. I mean, you can. You can have that suspicion. It don't matter. Yeah. Right here. Suspicion. A feeling. A what? A feeling. A what? A feeling. A what? A feeling. A feeling. A feeling, an evil suspicion has overthrown your judgment. A feeling. Go ahead. Our thought that something is possible, likely or true. Likely or true. It's not true, but it said, read, read the other one. Cautious distrust. A feeling or belief that someone is guilty <laughs> of an illegal, dishonest, or unpleasant action. Right. A feeling or belief that someone is guilty or dishonest. You don't, it's not based on fact. Or, or 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 knowledge. You know what's heavy about this man is like you can you can be tired and have like negative feelings just from just being tired alone. Yeah, you being so, sleepy. You like some people be grumpy. You're right. They be angry. Exactly. They don't be. They have two hours of sleep. They just be angry all the time. Yeah. So the first thought that comes to your head based off your emotions is gonna be negative stuff. A person come up to you with let's say something that seems like an excuse to you. Well, well, I feel he's lying to me. I feel yeah. He's trying to. That's crazy, man. Yeah, but you got to go off of the scriptures, though. Yeah, you got to stay in the Bible. You got to stay in the Bible, man. I right, go back to Sirach 3. It says a feeling. When I read it, I was like, what? A feeling. The point is feelings can be manipulated, Exactly. Bro. Exactly. That's what a feeling. It can because you can, you, got, you can go to somebody that's, you know that ain't counseling for your good, right? Right. Or gospel. You go and say, I feel this way. They going to, they going to, um. So wood in that fire, right. you know, the, the, you know, to make you even, um, even come up with more, um, what was that? More evil thoughts. Yeah, there you go. More evil thoughts. Also, too, Esau plays on that thing, man. Like you watch wrestling, you watch different TV shows that have you hating a person in the beginning of the movie, but then at the end of the movie, you were rooting for them. They do that. They do that on purpose. Right. They set that up. All because all off a of feeling. Yeah. You know. And yeah, that's a good point because you gotta look like when you um see um. What what uh what is um like Superman was it like Zod you know they was making him like he was the villain and stuff because he but no but he was actually the hero because he's trying to save his people yeah y'all be like this planet for us right to hell with these people that's on Earth and like bro you one of us let's take this thing over you know mm -hmm. yeah but like you said people play on that stuff man like you like like they're saying misery love company bro that's crazy yeah come on this is yep. the book of Sirach chapter three and verse twenty four. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, 
and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Give me Sirach 11 and 10. We're going to move a little fast. Run out of time. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 10. My son, meddle not with many matters. He said, don't meddle with many matters. A lot of stuff don't concern us, man. We just be meddling with certain things that we see on, on social media. We see with... Um, you know, garments coming out and stuff like that. Why they make, why leadership make the women garments like that? Why they make the garments like, hey, man, that's them. <laughs> Let's just be unified in the world right. and look glorious in them. Right. You know, why? Because our mind, yo, that feeling, you can't imagine yourself as a god in what we wear. Right. You talking about, you thinking a god wear polo, a god in true religion. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, like, be quiet. <laughs> Go ahead. My son, meddle not with many matters. For if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. Don't meddle with matters that don't concern you. You know, you see somebody and, and everybody, you trying to put yourself in everybody's business and stuff like that. When you try to help, help, you trying to be that person that's always helping and stuff, sometimes your help can be a hindrance or it can be a hurt. Let God do what he going to do. All right? Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 4 or 5. Because you got some people are masking. You got to see these spirits. Some people are cunning, man, where they always appearing. You're like, this sister always in the midst of everything. I'm, I was trying to help. I was trying to help. No, you wasn't. You, you, you trying to be nosy. You trying to be in everybody's business. That's what right. you're trying to do. But you're trying to mask it as if you're trying to help. I'm a charitable sister. No, you trying to be in everybody's business so you can have a scoop yeah, on everybody. Leader should not know nothing about it. You trying to help. Yeah. You wasn't telling them nothing about it. Wow. At all. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the time. He said, judge nothing before the time. And to the Lord come, who both will bring the light, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. Because some things that you can't see, you got to let it come to the light. You don't want to judge it before the time, because it could be wrong. You know, so you got to let that spirit manifest. You know, you might, you might have a person that's always like, you know, that person probably was wrong, right? And this person was right. But this person that jumped out the spirit, cussing them all out, all angry now. This person was out the spirit. And this person, like, escaped, you know? Right. So it's like, you know, and then she just sitting back or he just sitting back. Why this person all out the spirit? Like, yeah, I probably got her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I was wrong. But, see, I apologize, though. Look, see, she wicked as hell. See, he wicked as hell. Look, I'm getting cussed out, all that. Right. Just nothing before the time, you know? Get Galatians 6. Galatians 6, 1. The book of Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fall, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself. It says considering yourself, right? But it says, read it again. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fall, Ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. But if you despise the wisdom and nurture, though, how can somebody restore you if you've been overtaken in the fall? You're blocking it. That's what you're doing. That's why your spirit ain't never being uplift. You get overtaken in the fall, now you just keep falling down and down and down because, what, like you said, you're blocking it. You're despising the wisdom and the nurture. If you don't want it, why are you here? You're taking up space. You've taken up space. Let the men grow and let them help you. Let the sisters, the senior sisters, let them help you. I don't trust people. That's what the old man was saying. Yeah, we ain't saying tell all your business to everybody and stuff like that. But you got to open up something. You got to open up one way or the other so you can be, begin to heal. So you can get fixed. You expect to walk up in here and think Christ up in here that can read the minds? Come on. Considering thyself. Considering yourself. It, take, it takes a skillful person to be like that. Considering himself, examining himself, like, dang, you know, if I was in that seat, I want mercy. Let me show mercy. That takes somebody of wisdom. Right. Somebody that's been around, the, been around the leadership and seeing the decisions that's being made. Y'all, get Proverbs 6. We got 10 minutes. Proverbs 6, 16. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 16. You know, you know what? People probably here for the, for the feast days. You, right. know you, got the, you, you know you got the brothers that only come, brothers that don't give no alms. 
they 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 be missing their like Sabbaths and stuff, but they come on the feast days and they make sure and they got big bottles strong drink. Right. They hear this is, they hear they hear from the, the feast days to them is like the club. Mm-hmm. They be posted on the wall with their cup, right. double cupped up. And when the Bible <laughs> open at the table, everybody yeah. they don't yeah. they know where to Bible over at the table, but yeah. They 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 on the wall posted up with the double cup. They got their drink and they two step. <laughs> you got that's the brother, that's why I hear. He like, yeah, the new moon, yeah, I can't wait to it. Why you can't wait to go to camp, though? Right. Why you can't wait to travel? Why you can't wait to go to the Sabbath? But the feast days, you, you yeah, you the main brother. Out here doing a worm and everything. Brother, turned up. Yeah, we, all right, brother. What you used to do in the world? You used to be at the club every day. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16. These six things that the Lord hates, yea, seven are an abomination unto Come him. Come on. A proud look. God don't like a proud look. Somebody that's despising that instruction. Come on. A lying tongue. Brother's coming in here lying. Like you sitting here, you you cuss this brother out. Hey, brother, did you cuss this brother out? You talking to him disrespectfully, bro? You dealt falsely with him? No, nah, bro, no, nah, bro. You lying. That's some that's some childish stuff. And, but you grown. Come on. And hands that shed innocent blood. Read. And heart that deviseth wicked imagination. A mind that's sitting here thinking about wickedness. Come on. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Always there's problems, they, that person in the midst of it. Come on. A false witness that speaketh lies. You got a witness that's speaking lies on people. And he that soweth discord among brethren. So look, the most I hate that thing, you sowing discord among brethren. So among brothers and sisters, you trying to cause a division. You trying to come in here and divide. That's that separatist speech I was talking about earlier in the class. You got to be able to pick up on that. In the, you got to be able to pick up on that with somebody trying to divide. You know, you could be having, you could be in the middle, in a group or something, bringing out some scriptures or bringing out wisdom, trying to instruct the people around you. But you got that one person, they'll say something, but then you like, the younger people can't pick up on it, but the senior people picking up like, hey, you kind of, you disagreeing with me on the low, but you trying to mask it, you know? You got you to gotta be mindful of that stuff, man. It says what? Him that sow a discord among brethren. People that's trying to cause, cause separation. It's about unity, man. That's what separates us from a lot of camps, man. Our unity is strong. Come on. Verse 20? No. Uh, give me Zephaniah. No, give me Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3.30. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 30. Strive not with a man without cause. Why are you striving with your brother or your sister without a cause? You just trying to just start something. Every time something little Damn, small happens. She ain't say shalom to me. Damn, he ain't shalom me, bro. You you shalom all them brothers. You ain't shalom. Brother, I just shalom 30 brothers. Sorry you was the 30 second. I'm tired. Spiritual shalom, brother. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to come to the front of the line. <laughs> <laughs> Next time just say shalom, bro. Like. The hell? Strive not with a man without cause. If he have done thee no harm. Right. So it's like, where is your proof to be striving with this person? It's crazy. Give me James 3.16. There be them people that don't, I'm telling you, it be them people that don't be having no counselors, bro. I'm telling you. Every time it's some people, like, they be causing problems in the congregation and stuff like that. You be like, bro, who your counselor? Oh, I ain't got one. Like, what? Oh, you do got one. It's like, bro, when last time you talked to him? Mm. Two weeks ago. How long y'all talk? Three minutes. I sent him a text message. It's been same brothers and stuff causing it causing problems, man. Come on. The book of James, chapter 3 and verse 16. But where envying and strife is. Where envy and strife is, go ahead. There is confusion and every evil work. There is confusion and every evil work. So when you see envying and strife, that's confusion somewhere. That's sin. Come on. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle. Then pe- the wisdom from above is peaceable. Go ahead. Gentle. Gentle. And easy. You ain't out here breaking people's spirits. Mm. Gentle. Go ahead. And easy to be entreated. You are easy to be entreated. You, you very approachable. Somebody can talk to you. They can open up to you. Mm-hmm. Come on. Full of mercy. It says full of mercy. Go ahead. And good fruits. Read. Without partiality. Without what? Without partiality. Not partial. And without Not jumping on their friend's side when it comes to judgment. Come on. And without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make 
peace. The fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace, right? So as you, when you start making peace and seeking peace, man, the most high start increasing you in wisdom. You know, you sitting here, you dealing, you going to the law, you going to the law um, trying to make things right. In Matthew 18, you trying to gain and win your brother. You know, you can, you get you catching wins out of those situations, man. The most I start dealing with you more when you starting to do that. It said a fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace, man. That's the point of the scriptures, man. That's the whole point of the law is to be able to deal rightly with your brother. Judge righteous judgment. Do this right. Do that. When we're dealing with each other, the Lord wants us to deal accordingly. That's, That's the it. whole point. That's it. That's why he said the second commandment is like unto the is is like unto the first. When you said love God as you love yourself, it said it says love thy neighbor as you love thyself. You know, yeah. So love God, love thy brothers, love thy sisters. You know? Exactly, exactly. All right, one last scripture. Uh, give me Proverbs twenty nine twenty two. Last scripture. You know what? No, I'm in with this. Give me Sirach 19.22. Sirach 19.22. So I got two minutes left. Book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. You coming out in the world, you got to throw all that to the side. Hey, hey, it is not wisdom at all. It don't matter. You been in, you, you, you repent at 41. You, you know, you got 41 years of wickedness. That you got to get out of your system. That stuff is not wisdom. It's not at all. Go ahead. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Right. So look, you counseling with sinners. That's not wisdom. The counsel of sinners, you counsel with your aunties and uncles and stuff like that. That ain't no wisdom. You got to deal with the men that's uh, teaching the commandments that been in this truth. All right. So with that, hey, shalom, most high Christ. Bless Israel. I pray everybody been edified. All praises. For the opportunity to teach on Hammer Time, y'all. Shalom, Most High Christ bless. Pray all is well. Shalom, y'all. Most High Christ bless.